But now we see this situation and the referee decides, no, it's too skillful. <laughs> How do you decide that? Now the, now, the issue here will be broken down by Ace. He's the one gentleman that will tell us if this is ungentlemanly <laughs> or not. There's nothing ungentlemanly. <laughs> Ace, help us here. <laughs> Stepping over, put his knee on it. Rob, this What's is wrong? A... <laughs> no, 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 nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's not a handball. It's not a knee ball. No, huh? it's Rob. Let me tell you this. <laughs> tell us, Ace. I've there been is... waiting the whole <laughs> there... day for this. There's only, there's only one limb of the body. Mm. that you cannot use to play the ball with. It's your, head. It's your arm. Mm. Every other limb, every other part of your body, you can use legally so to play the ball. Mm. It's actually quite embarrassing for a referee, one, to blow his whistle. Not only to blow his whistle, but to also caution the player. In the laws of the game, there are seven cautionable offenses and it's not ungentlemanly conduct in the laws. It's unsporting behavior. Now, how can you say a player that is displaying his skills is unsporting? Is that is sport. He's, he's playing the sport of football. It's a matter between him and his coach. To deal if, with that. If we, what he is doing is not helping the, the, the team advance its play, mm. what are you basing the decision on to blow your whistle and stop that player from using his skills. And give a yellow card. I, I don't even want to go there. On what basis are you showing him the yellow card? So then can they, can they reverse that yellow card? Because now Sipomwe has to walk around into the next game knowing that he's carrying a, 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 a booking and a booking that was wrong, unless by tomorrow we can be told otherwise about why putting one knee, the second knee, stretching uh, well, a leg well, is now deemed to be... Well, the manager I mean, of the team, yeah. now, 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 as soon as this show ends, must write a letter to the league and apply for that yellow card to be rescinded. Now. Has to. Now, that's from extra time. Advice. Free advice. Free advice. Yeah. Free advice. And you're normally a consultant. This man charges heaven and earth. Spot on. <laughs> Spot on uh, incorporated charges people money. So you give them free advice. Go free and advice. apply Go for and apply a rescinded. For a rescinded. Yeah. So not spot it on. It is not spot on to, to even blow for an infringement. What infringement has that player committed? You blow the whistle when yeah. there's an infringement. What infringement has well, he listen committed? Listen what you're saying. I remember as a very young kid, I watched a player once named Groven Malope. He used to roll on the ball, Rob. I promise yeah. you, like, you know, like a, you know, roll on it while the ball is moving. And there were many... After him, Skarongo basically comes to mind when we mm. had him at Chelsea. He did some phenomenal skill. Braje, what are you talking about? Braje stood on the ball. Look at it. Yeah, but even recently now at Platinum Stars, before obviously the he had to be sent off and released from the club, he was also doing that. One of our favourite players. Yeah, Masbuz. Yeah, Huzong. Yeah. Mm. He was in, in recent time. I'm, I'm not talking about archives now that mm. you're telling us to go and look for black and white VHS uh, <laughs> tapes. Yeah, we're talking about now mm. in HD, in DVD form. It is there. But there was no caution. So hence I'm asking, where is the sense of consistency? Because with that comes consistency where if you don't apply it all the time, then why is it being applied now? Because if we pull out a Zongo tape and say, okay, what is different? Uh, you see... Uh, when a referee takes uh, that questionable offense referred to in the laws of the game as unspotting behavior and comes up with his own interpretation of unspotting behavior. What is unspotting about showing skills? You can't be unspotting when you are playing this game of football that you get paid to play. How, what's unspotting about showing your skills? Let it be a matter between the referee, sorry, the coach the and the player. player. The referee steps out of it. <clears throat> unless there, there is a stoppage in the match and the, and the, uh, the player uh, uh, somehow delays the restart mm. of play by playing around and doing those tricks when mm. the other team wants to restart. That's a totally different matter. But during open play, the ball is in play. Whatever tricks the player uh, uh, does to... to even, some people refer it to as showboating. Mm. It's entertaining skills. That's what people pay to watch. And that's what actually, I would say, pays the referee as well. 
Of course. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just trying to get clarity here because uh, we need clarity. Well, uh, sure, so many of your views are coming through here.